Hey, what's going on, Bobble Fanatics, Yankees, Jets fan 71 back with another video. Uh, today we're going to be reviewing the Hall of Fame exclusive Foco Yogi Berra bobblehead. Uh, I got these bob this bobblehead in last week, uh, along with another bobblehead, which I will be doing at a later review of a later date. Um, so just because it's late and I want to do this quickly, let's take a quick look at the box. So you got the standard Foco window box here. On the side, you got genuine baseball merchandise, Cooperstown Collection, and the Baseball Hall of Fame logo on one side. You got the Baseball Authentication sticker on the other. The bottom, it says Bobblehead Hall of Fame. The bobblehead is packed in the clear uh, cellophane, um, or plastic rather, wrapping inside. On one side, you got generic baseball player, Foco on the bottom. The back you got the big National Baseball Hall of Fame logo. Find your fanhood at foco.com. You got another generic baseball player with the Foco logo on the bottom. On the top you have the National Baseball Hall of Fame logo. And the bottom you have the Foco Forever Collectibles information there. If you want to pause to take a look at it, go right ahead. Okay, so now on to the main event. Here he is, here's Yogi Berra. Um, wearing the uh, catcher's garb with the cap turned around the back um, beautiful bobblehead I think this thing is extraordinary let's move him over here let's take a closer look at him I think the facial features are pretty good I wouldn't say they're perfect but it's pretty close you could tell it's Yogi Berra um, he's wearing the Yankee pinstripes underneath he's carrying his catcher's mask uh, he's wearing he's got his uh, catcher's mitt I'm I'm not sure, but I don't think the Yogi wore a black catcher's mitt. I think his catcher's mitt were brown. I would have to take a look. Um, he's got the knee pads and the shin guard. He's standing on, this is probably my favorite part of the bobblehead actually. It's the Baseball Hall of Fame as the base. Yogi Berra in white raised letters with the red trim on the bottom, blue around the base. Take a quick look at the back. You have the class of 1972 when Yogi was inducted into the Baseball Hall of Fame. Uh, the bottom of the bobblehead, you have the sticker, Legends of the Diamond. My bobblehead's numbered 158 of 288. Um, the back of the bobblehead, we're in the, a little small for the cap, but it's still the Yankee logo. You got the number eight underneath the um, protective, um, the back of the protective plate. Got the pinstripes, the back of the shin guard on his legs. And there you have it. That's the that's my quick review of the Yogi Berra National Baseball Hall of Fame exclusive forever collectible or foco bobblehead i believe you still can get these bobbleheads at the baseball hall of fame site i actually would have thought that these were sold out by now but last i checked there were still some available so if you really want to have this and i really think you should um add this to your yankees or bobblehead collection i really think he's worth it i mean there's not a lot of yogi berra bobbleheads out there and this one i believe to me is worth it plus the fact that i'm trying to put together the hall of fame bobblehead set for the Yankees um, I'm mit off the top of my head I'm missing Ruth Rivera Musina Gehrig and those are four expensive expensive ones at least the Musina I believe is the most is the least expensive I can get them for around 60 Rivera I've seen for 70 for set to like in the 70s and over 100 um, both Gehrig and, River and um, Ruth are over $100 a piece um, I'm trying to think. The catfish have one in the Yankees uniform? I don't think so. Um, I have to take a quick look, but I think those are the four that I need to complete the Yankee run on this. Um, so that's my uh, five-minute review. I think it's a great bobblehead. Um, I think you'd love it if you had it in your collection. If you guys want to um, get this Hall of Fame bobblehead, head over to the National Baseball Hall of Fame website. Click on the store. I always type in bobbleheads in the search engine and um grab the and they pick and they pop up and you find the one you want and, and order it i like dealing with the baseball hall of fame they ship the bobbles they will tell you when they're shipping the bobbles 
for instance, this bobble came about a week early. It was supposed to be released at the end of June, and I got them in the um, and I got them in a week early. So, and the Baseball Hall of Fame is really good to deal with. They pack the bobbles really well. Uh, it's not like they don't they don't put them in without any protection. Um, I had my box had a bunch of peanuts and. The Yogi and the uh, Jeter that I got were both very protected, so I always like dealing with the Hall of Fame, and I will continue to do so. So anyway, guys, that's my video. Uh, please click like if you like the review. Uh, please uh, leave all comments down below, and if you want to see more videos such as the one you've seen today, please click that subscribe button to see more content. Guys, I hope to talk to you soon. Yankees won tonight. Hallelujah. After a four-game losing streak. Um, of course, we got Otani hit two home runs against us tonight, but we still won 10 to 5, 11 to 5, rather. And wouldn't you know it, we got Otani pitching against us tomorrow night. So watch the Yankees get shut out. Anyway, guys, hope you have a great evening, and I'll talk to you soon. Remember, card family flag, guys. Peace.